Cheers guys, we're down here in the office that we're trying to fix up, make ourselves a little office uh, workroom so we can provide you guys some better videos. We finally got our toolbox all set up. That's the Husky toolbox, 10 drawer, 52 inch that you guys seen in our previous unboxing. So far so good, it's been done me really well starting to fill it up all the drawers open real nice well, real nice and smooth so far I give this thing a 10 out of 10 well worth the money I think I picked it up it was a 498 or 598 worked really well great price next thing we're gonna jump over here show you we got some stuff to unbox over on that side the moto master eliminator battery pack you seen us use that in our cold start on the atv and we did an unboxing we got our sandblaster gun we got some air tools here we got our harbor freight yes i am in canada but i did manage to pick up a harbor freight paint gun we got some more junk down there we got our, I think this one is the 80 amp MIG and flux core welder. That one works really well. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of that this uh, summer. We got our 20 gallon air compressor with our, um, yeah, I'll leave that one alone. We got our socket set that I've had for years. We also got a huge ass pepper plant. This plant, in case you guys haven't seen, this is the Carolina Reaper. It is uh, the world's hottest peppers. Let's bring some life into the room. Here we got this one, we got that one, the money tree and that ugly thing. Over here we got a little table. We got some drywall coming in for over there and then we're gonna throw some tiles down on the floor. This is gonna be a little workstation. So anyways, we're gonna get on with the point of the video. Today's video, we're gonna do a real simple uh, battery change on a Mitsubishi um, key fob. Pull it open here and we're gonna jump right into it. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back. First thing we're gonna look at is the key fob. This key fob is for Mitsubishi Lancer 08 up to 2018 uh, or 19. They are all, all pretty much the same thing. We're gonna show you guys how to change a battery today. Uh, the wife recently told me the battery was dead, so we went out and bought one. We're gonna go ahead and change it. First thing you're gonna see, you're gonna see, you're gonna look around it, and you're gonna notice a little cutout here on the top of your key fob. You're gonna take your little tiny flat screwdriver, just go in there, and separate it. As you guys can see, this one's been separated before, so you can go around it like this here. When you do open your fob, make sure you don't lose the little red button. Don't do as I did, I lost it. So, first thing you're gonna see, you got two little pieces. You got that one piece here. And then you're gonna have a little red piece. And then you got it inside here. You got your actual uh, digitizer, I call it. It's actually the key fob. It makes your car start. Okay, next thing you're gonna see, you're gonna see in here, there's a little cutout. You take your screwdriver, pop apart this. Inside, that's what she looks like, guys. Inside here, we got a 1620 battery. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that out. The it's officially a CR1620. Show you guys a number. Not sure if you can see that. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, pause the video and we'll be right back. We're gonna dig out our brand new battery. Okay, so we're back. We got our battery. It is the lithium 1620 energizer battery. And as you guys can see, it is still labeled CR1620. So 
So we're going to go ahead and slide this stuff over the side and show you guys how easy it is to change this battery. I think it's harder to get into the package than it is to actually change the battery. Make these things so complicated to open. So the next thing we're going to do, you take your battery, you got your flat side there that goes facing down and then you got this side goes up. So we're just going to go ahead and snap that into place like this. Then we're going to take our top, snap it back together, and as you guys can see, it lights up the light. So we're going to go ahead and finish putting this back together. We're going to go outside and we're going to test it on the Lancer. See if it actually does as it's supposed to. Go ahead and throw these buttons back on. Then we're going to have to explain to the wife why we lost her little red panic button. Snap it back together. Just as simple as that guys. So we're going to go head upstairs and I'm going to go out and show you that the key works. Cheers guys, we're back. I just wanted to give you guys a sh show you guys that the re battery replacement worked. And you got your trunk release down there that works. You may have to reprogram your keys. There is a ton of videos on YouTube on how to uh, reprogram your key if you have to. Sometimes if the battery goes completely dead, you will have to re reprogram that key. I'm going to uh, leave a little quick tutorial on how to do that right here at the end of the video. But that's it for now, guys, on how to change your key and reprogram your key if you have to anyways cheers for now don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell for notifications and have yourselves a great day